Welcome back, another Joe Cooks. This week we're going to have a go at something a bit different. A simple beef burrito. They've got a food market in town and um, I wanted to go and get one. But the six quid, the six quid I thought I could do a lot better than that. So let's have a go, let's have a go. We'll go through the ingredients, we'll get the sauce on. And we'll, we'll get this one knocked out pretty quick, pretty quick. Right, what we're going to need is... There will be lists of ingredients in the description and equipment as normal. We're going to preheat the frying pan and spray a couple of sprays of fire light in. And chuck in a medium onion that's been sliced, finely sliced. That can go in. It's quite quick this one, quite quick, about 15 minutes. And it will be, it'll be ready. I've got this pan on. Number four, which is medium high, medium high on mine. Anyway, in the onions, we're gonna put 15 grams of chopped garlic. You can put less in, you can put more in. It depends what you like, I like garlic, so I do tend to put a lot in. Give this a couple of minutes, a little splash of water as normal. Get the lid on, two minutes, it'll be soft. We'll have a quick run through with the other ingredients that we're going to be using. I have a 150 grams of ground beef or minced beef, depending where you come from. 120 grams of drained beans. It's half a can for anyone who gets who shops at Little. Um, half a pack of rice, pre-cooked rice. I'm using this one from Little's. I think I've showed this, this one before, it's only 35 pence for 250 grams, but I'm going to use half of one of that. 50 grams of grated cheddar. I'm using this one. I've got, I bought it in a block because the price of the grated stuff has gone ridiculous, so I'm down to doing it myself now. That's the problem with when prices go up, you've got to start doing things yourself. So 50% reduced fat cheese. Splash of Liam Perrins, small handful of oregano, half a teaspoon of chili powder, again optional, you can put as much as or at least as, least as you want in, a teaspoon of ground cumin, about 30 grams of tomato puree and some salt and pepper and last but not least some wraps. Four. This this batch will do four. So if you scale it up or you scale it down, you've got you've got a, a figure to work with. Anyway, these onions are quite soft now. We'll start putting my mince in. Just break it up, drop it in, and we'll give it a couple of minutes to brown off. Yeah, street market last time, I think it was only about four quid. I know it's four quid, still a lot of money, but Six quid, you start thinking then, don't you, you know what I mean? You break into the tenner, and it's gone. And it's gone. For what? A burrito that you can make at home for pennies. And you know, I've set myself new rules on the channel. I'm only allowed to spend three pounds maximum on any of my videos and ingredients. I know I draw for me spice kit all the time, but that's something you can build up over time as well. Buy the ones that you need. Put them in the cupboard, you use them again because I use all the same ingredients. I just put them together differently. You'll notice that on, on the channel there'll be there'll be meals that are just the same ingredients, just done a different way. But that's basically cooking, you know. There's not not much different difference to it. Anyway, we'll give that a couple of minutes to brown off. A little splash more of the water. Burning. Put the lid on, we'll give it a couple of minutes, we'll come back and we'll carry on with the sauce. Right, it's been a couple of minutes, we'll just get put this stuff to the side so I've got a bit more room to work with and we'll, we'll crack on with the sauce. Tell you what, the weather's been cracking here all week, all week. It's just starting to change now. It's starting to look a bit cloudy in that. But yeah, we've done alright for weather, we've done alright for weather. Right, now the mince is brown, we're going to go in with 
with spices. I said half a teaspoon, that's what I put in, but you can put what you want in, as little or as much as you want. So, but that, that's about enough for me. I don't like it too hot. I like it so I can taste it, but not too much. The cumin, I, I always go about double, so a good, a good teaspoon of this. It's nice cumin. It's underestimated it would be. Splash of lean pounds. You can use the, the normal little Sazda one or whatever. It's just the same. I just bought this because it's the only one I could find at the time. Yeah, that'll do. About five mils or something. About 30 grams of tomato puree. Basically, we're making a dryish type chili. I think this one's quite traditional with the street foods. It's it's basically what I had before. So that's 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 how I remember. I, I've never quite actually made them myself before, but I've ate them, so it can't it can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. Right. We'll add the beans. Get rid of that. And then we'll put about about 200 ml of water. You might need more if it looks like it's going to get too thick. But that's that's good enough. That's good enough. And it's just a case of letting this cook now for about 15 minutes. You can see the sauce starting to thicken up in that. We'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in now, so I don't forget. And I did nearly forgot, forget the oregano, so it's a small handful of oregano that will go in now as well. And we'll just let, we'll give it a good stir. We'll cook it off. I'm turning the heat down now to a, to number three, so I'm bang on the middle, bang on a medium heat. I'll give us a stir in, put the lid on, give it about 15 minutes, then we'll come back. I'll, I will come back after about five or five ten minutes. Check it, make sure it's not burning or anything. Then yeah, this is this is the main component of this dish. Burritos, you know, you can make with anything. You can make it. It's one of them, I suppose it's a sandwich in a sense, it's a sandwich, so you can just whack what you want in. Obviously, some things go better with other things. I mean, grated cheddar cheese and, and minced beef, minced, like a chili minced beef. Fantastic combination, fantastic combination. Anyway, I'll come back in 15 minutes when the sauce is ready. We'll get our burritos, we'll wrap them like they do in the streets, we'll put them in the oven for five minutes. And we're good, we're good. Right, it's been about 15 minutes. As you can see now with sauce. Really thick, it looks like a bit of a dry chili. That's that's what we're looking for. There's no nothing burnt on it. It's just nicely thick. The beans have soaked all the juice up, the water's evaporated off it. Perfect. Now what we'll do, I'll adjust the camera and we'll start um, assembling with burritos. Right, I've now turned the sauce completely off. It's just sat there. I've preheated my oven to about 160, just to just to cook these through a bit. And yeah, let's have a go making these burritos. Like I said, you, you get four out of this out of this batch. I am hoping four. Like I said, it's the first time I've I've made them really, but. It's all good. It just shows you. You can just you can just make it up as you go along, you know. But anyway, we'll put a piece of tin foil down. We'll take a wrap. We've got, I've got some spoons here. We've got with rice. We've got with cheese. We've got with sauce. What I'm going to do is divide them up. I'm going to put some sauce in. Hopefully, I'll get four equal ones. But more than likely, I'll get one skinny one, one fat one, and two normal ones. Put some sauce in. A couple of spoons of rice. This is as traditional as I could find, to be honest with you. Like, 
It's, it's, it's the only type I've had. I haven't had any fancy ones. And uh, like I say, we've got to keep it within a, within a sensible budget. Uh, we've got the cheese in. And here's the fun part. Fold the sides in, tuck it under, give it a roll. And we'll put it down, seam down in the paper. Wrap it in tin foil. What I've done, I've doubled this tin foil over so I can get it. So I've got an edge for when I get out the oven because this is going to be quite hot when it comes out the oven. We'll twist the ends and we'll place them just on an oven rack, yeah? So I'll, I'll do the next three and we'll, we'll get them in the oven. Right, and this is the final one, number four. We'll get this wrapped, put it in properly. And we're gonna put these in a preheated oven. 160, 140, 160, it doesn't have to be mega hot. And all, all we're gonna do is stick them in for 10 minutes max, just to warm the rice through and to melt the cheese. Then we'll get one out, we'll have a look, we'll wrap this video up. I'd like to thank you all for watching again. It's mo most appreciated. We'll have that one. We'll put these ones to one side. You can eat these, I suppose, cold or warm. They'll, they'll, sit, they'll sit warm in, the, in that foil for ages. And um, yeah, but just remember, you can stuff anything, anything you want in one of these burritos. It's only a posh sandwich, really. Right, I've tarted the side plate up with a bit of salad and that to make this one look good. We'll get it out of this and we'll, we'll have a good look. Oh, look at that. It's a mighty sandwich. This, I think these are about 400 calories, maybe. I know they're not, they're not massively high in calories, so... Thanks for watching. Share my videos with people who you think might appreciate them or could do with some encouragement. We'll cut this open, we'll have a good look. And yeah, we'll wrap this up. There you go. Street food. All in this cost about... Um, about two pound, so about 50 pence per burrito, which is not bad considering the guy's selling for six quid on his stall. I finish, I'll just have a little bit of jerk sauce to dip it in. You get expensive if you start going down the lines of guacamoles and stuff like that. I don't even like avocados, I like the too much like hard work, but each to their own, each to their own. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Oh, just appreciated it and um, make comments in the in the comments, like, subscribe to all the YouTube stuff. Like I say, we're going to keep it basic from now on. Three pound limit, no going over. So you can guarantee cheap, healthy, fresh meals every time you come here.